we can say final sphere equals to ar kit sphere materials and the material is basically our this material which contain our 360 image comma radius 1 after the ar kit sphere we have to add the sphere to the geometry using the ar kit node so we can say final node equals to ar kit node geometry will be sphere position will be vector 3 dot 0 comma and the URL angles will be also vector 3 dot 0 and then after this we can add the node to our ARKit controller and we are ready to test the app but first of all let's say this dot ARKit controller dot add and pass the node to it so now come back here to the Manda dot and here we have to import the page which is our panorama screen dot dot and then make sure to remove this container and we have our this screen which name is panorama screen class okay so you can say panorama screen like this and now let's just uh, open our this project in xcode in order to do the app name and other setup so let's minimize this and go to your project folder panorama app inside this we have example inside the example ios and this runner.xcode project double click on it trust and open so first of all click here on this runner project okay and on this runner project when you click make sure that you click on this runner so in the general we have this display name let's change this to panorama app and then we have our bundle identifier so here we have to provide our own i mean your own you have to provide for example in my case it is com.cc muhammad ali so you can change this to your name like for example com.cc dot let's say your name is john so you can say com.cc dot john dot panorama app okay and then click on sign in and capabilities and from here you can see this team select the your team in my case it is my name muhammad ali personal team and yeah that's it so simple and so easy now you can simply quit xcode i mean close the xcode and close this also come back to the android studio now here you can see this ios right click on this ios and click on open in terminal and now you have to run the following command first of all run this command which is pod d integrate and then pod install and yeah that's it so simple and so easy now you can simply close this and yeah let's come back again to our project folder panorama app now we are ready to test our app okay and now from here you can select your real iphone make sure that it is connected to your laptop so i am going to select my iphone and then click on this play button in order to install the app on your iPhone so let's wait for it so if you see this pop-up because it has you I mean you have to provide uh, the permission from your iPhone that is its profile has not been explicitly trusted by the user so you have to trust it from the iPhone so on your iPhone just go to the settings okay just go to the settings and inside the setting if you scroll you will see this option general click on it 
and then scroll and here we have this device management option click on it uh, click on this Apple development in here you will see this trust Apple development okay just click on it and then this pop-up this pop-up will appear you have to click on trust and yeah that's it okay now just click on this okay and let's run the app again make sure that your iPhone is selected from here and then click on this play button so it will now install the app on our iPhone so the app has been installed successfully and it has been opened now click on ok so here you can see this is our 360 three dimensional image as you can see I am pointing toward the earth and now if you move your camera up and just start moving your mobile and you will imagine that you are in a 3D game as you can see here we are on the roof of a building and you can see it wow that is really cool and really nice you can see it